Hey, well, hello, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters, and I have got one of my favorite typewriters here for you. It is a 1936 Royal Model O, and this is a fantastic portable typewriter. I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. Isn't that lovely? It is a really basic model of a typewriter. No bells and whistles. I mean, it has a bell, but you know what I mean, nothing fancy, just a good typing typewriter. So let me show you how to use this and then I'll do a typing test for you. So back here is your margins and you just press and drag and it's nice and smooth. Okay, flip that over. There's no tabs on this machine. On this side is your carriage release, just pull that in. There is also the same lever, lever on the left side and it's right there. Here is your paper release. So that releases the tension on your paper so you can adjust it. And then on this side, you will find um, when you go to advance, one, two, or three lines, one or two, sorry, no three. And then this is your roller release so that if you need to, uh, you know, do some like fine adjusting. Let's like say you're trying to line up with uh, a form, you're filling out a form or you're using lined paper. That's what that's for. All right, let me go ahead and move this over to the left and we're gonna pop open the top. And inside is a universal ribbon. And uh, this is, this does use the universal ribbons, obviously. And um, they're very easy to put in and install um, and change out when you need to do it. So we've got a new ribbon in there for you now. Um, and when you do change it out, make sure black is on top, red is on the bottom. It's a fairly short ribbon, but there's a lot of ink in there. So when it gets to the end of the spool, you need to reverse the direction and you do that right here. Okay, that reverses the direction. And then um, you should reverse it, be able to reverse it dozens of times before you need to change it out. This is your color selector, and this is called your touch control, and that just determines how hard these strike bars are going to hit your paper. And so it's just a personal preference on that. I do have an up close image of this whole escapement area so that when it is time for you to change out the ribbon, you can see how it's threaded because if it's not threaded properly, it's not gonna work properly. Also, if you get to the end of your spool and you're not paying attention, the typewriter um, is gonna get really stiff and it's gonna be hard to type on or it's gonna lock up completely or you're gonna notice your font is super, super faint. So any, if any of those things happen, stop, reverse the direction of your ribbon and that should take care of it right away. Okay, let's pop the lid back down. These are the original glass keys and they're so fun. Um, I love the feel of them on my fingers. Okay, let's go ahead and do a test on this. So I'm gonna insert the paper right here. And you just turn the handle and pull it through and make sure you pop up that metal bar and then put it back down. And um, also the color selector, um, there's black and there's red. The white dot is a stencil, you'll never use it. Let me put this up. Um, so make sure you don't go over there because it's not gonna type right on the stencil setting. So black or red is your options. Okay, let's test out all the keys. And this types really well. I like the Model O's so much and so do a lot of other people. It's a really good, um, it's, a, it's small even for portable. And uh, so it makes it a good coffee shop typewriter to have on hand. I would say a lot of people like the uh, Smith Corona flat tops and obviously this is a flat top. And if I had to choose, um, the Smith Corona flat tops are very nice. I mean, for sure. But I don't know. Oh, I just redid the same line. I'm talking. Okay, let me try that again. Um, there's something about the Royal Model O that is very endearing to me. And so I pick this over 
a Smith Corona flat top. Um, definitely hard to um, compete with like a Smith Corona Sterling flat top. Um, but for my purposes, um, I really like the Model O. Now this one, um, we have worked on the letter A and it works, but it hesitates. So just so you know. And see it was, you probably won't even notice it, but I wanted to be upfront with you. Okay. Let's try the red ribbon. Oop, two keys at once, doesn't work. Okay, margin release is right here. Finish your word. And let's keep going. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house. So I actually didn't have any trouble with the A on that. So um, I think they're the very first one I did. The more you use it, the more your keys are going to loosen up. And really, you want to be careful. And when you're not using it, put it back in the case or put a cover over it. Because the reason your keys get sticky or stiff is because... Um, you know, dirt and dust and, and pet hair and smoke or whatever, they get down into this area down here and build up a grime. And so you don't want to use oil. Don't oil your keys. That actually makes it worse because it tracks all those things. But you can use mineral spirits and a Q-tip and uh, especially when you first get them because it's still working out. You know, we get them working, but um, I guarantee you just because it's a nor it, that's what happens with typewriters. Um, the keys start getting sticky. And so you just got to keep working it and working out and cleaning out all the decades of junk that's gotten in there and um, using the mineral spirits to keep it nice and smooth. And that's just part of maintenance for a typewriter in case you wanted to know. So anyway, this one is in excellent working condition. Um, you can take a look at the um, photo that I'll take of the font down on the, oh, I need to put the, let me put the header on here. This is a, there's no number one, so lowercase l. It's a 1936 Royal. So, oh, there the A stuck a little bit there. Model O. Um, so this is an excellent typewriter other than the A being a little finicky. And um, so go visit the link in the description below and um, somebody is gonna love this. Thanks so much for watching, have a good day.